Buying a house is a major part of our lives. We want to know where we can raise our kids and let those dogs run free. But when we're trying to achieve home ownership, we often take on massive debt as well as have a huge monthly liability associated with that house. And what if I told you that there was a way where you could live for free, not moving back in with your parents, as well as build wealth simultaneously? And there is, it's called house hacking. What's up guys, it's Avery here. If this is your first time to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any real estate investing techniques or things that you can do with your money in order to build your wealth. I've been living rent free for the past two years and the way I've done that is through something called house hacking. House hacking is an awesome way to lower your largest monthly expense of housing. And there are multiple ways that you can lower your expenses and the best way is house hacking, and the second best way is smashing the like button. House hacking is awesome because it not only allows you to have a place to live, it offers you tax benefits, it gives you more money freed up so that you can use it to invest in more things, as well as it gives you an investment property once you decide to move out. House hacking is a really simple concept. Essentially, you're gonna go buy a residential building, a condo, a single family, or a two to four unit multifamily building. And once you've bought that building, you're gonna move in, similar to how we would think when you go buy a house. But you're not only just gonna move in yourself, you're also going to rent out all of the excess space, which would include all of the excess units in a two to four unit multifamily building, or any of the excess bedrooms in a single family or condo, and you could even rent out the excess bedrooms in that unit that you're living in within the multifamily building. If you wanted to be really aggressive doing this strategy, you could not only rent out the excess units and the excess bedrooms, but you yourself could live in the couch on the living room and rent out that extra bedroom so you could get even more income during this period of your life where you wanna make extra money and really lower that housing payment so you can excel yourself financially and hit that financial freedom goal a lot quicker. People choose house hacking as a way to get into real estate investing because it offers a low monthly down payment. So ways that you can get into your first building with a low monthly down payment would be one through an FHA loan. An FHA loan allows you to get in using three and a half percent down. Whereas if you were buying a traditional investment property, you would have to put 25% down. Now in an expensive market like the one I live in myself of Boston, three and a half percent versus 25% on a down payment can be hundreds of thousands of dollars. So this makes it a lot easier to purchase a home. And certain people may qualify for other loans like a USDA loan or a VA loan, and those can offer you 0% down payments in order to get into some of these homes so you can start building your wealth. So it's really that simple, and I've been doing this the last two years. I bought a two unit building at 3.5% down, and then a year later I bought a three unit building at 3.5% down, and I lived in that first building for a year, and now it's a full investment property, and I've almost lived in the second building for a full year and I will soon turn it into a full investment property. Now you could have a fairly similar strategy to me where you live in there for a year, which is required by these low down payment loans and then move out immediately. Or if you wanted to, you could just buy that duplex, that three family, that four family and have that be your home for a long time where you're still going to be getting a lot of these benefits, including rental income, tax benefits and a house for free. That's really the ultimate goal. Can you lower that housing expense? Some people will spend up to 50% and even more on their housing. Imagine if you took that 50% and took it to zero. How much more money would you have each month to invest, to have it to grow, to do the things that you want, and to spend money on things and people that you care about? When people hear about this idea of house hacking, the living for free portion is obviously very exciting. Now some people may view it as a sacrifice because you're not living in that perfect dream home that you want, but you're in a multifamily building and you have tenants to worry about, or you're in a single family or condo and you have a roommate when you would rather just be able to live with yourself or live with your family and no one else. Now, this to me is not a crazy sacrifice. And if you're young and you have no real responsibilities, it's something that you should 100% do it is probably the best thing that you can do for your finances. Because not only are you building wealth like you would in a rental, but you're also really helping out your personal balance sheet and gaining a lot more money back. 
There's just, there's really nothing that you can do that would make more sense to help you start off in a better financial standpoint in getting towards that financial freedom than house hacking. The option of building that you choose really depends on your lifestyle. Are you young? Do you have no real responsibilities? Are you cool buying the biggest type of building, that four unit building, and sleeping on the couch and airbnb every room for maximal profit? Or do you have a family and a lot more responsibilities and you're not willing to buy a single family home and rent out certain space so that you make sure that your family is safe? So for there, maybe just buying a duplex and having the one other unit so you don't have a bunch of potentially loud tenants in your area bothering you and creating more friction in your household than there may already be. So it really depends on your lifestyle, what you're willing to sacrifice, and what you want to do going forward. Is this going to be your all-time forever home? Is it just going to be for a year? What are your plans with this and what are you willing to give up and what are you willing to do in order to put yourself in the best financial standpoint possible? House hacking is awesome because it can allow you to catapult your financial stance very far forward as well as the fact that as soon as you move out after that year, you're going to have monthly passive income while having put little money down. The alternative, if you weren't going to live in the place, would be that 25% down, and it would take you many, many, many more years to recoup that initial payment versus if you only put 3.5% down. Now, some people are worried about these low money down loans because you're putting such little money down and you have such a high bank loan. And as well, when you put less than 20% down on a property, there's something called PMI or private mortgage insurance. Now, this is an added policy that's added towards your mortgage so that your bank is more comfortable lending you the large amount of money compared to the little amount of money that you're putting down in the house. And yes, some people get really turned off by this, but it's not a big deal. Your tenant is paying down that note. You are not responsible for that PMI. If you wanna check out a video of the benefits of real estate investing, check it out up here or in the description below. I talk about a lot of these concepts and why real estate investing is a great option to put your money to work in order to grow your wealth. Personally, if I never do any more investing and don't buy any more houses and just stay where I'm at from a financial standpoint, in less than a decade, I will 100% be a millionaire. There's no doubt about it. If you wanna hear about my current net worth standpoint, check it out up here or in the description below. And I've only been doing this for two years and it's already doing extremely well and I can really feel the effects of this house hacking method. So I truly and really recommend this for anyone who's willing to do it. I hope this video motivates you guys to go buy that house, to start living for free and to start building massive wealth. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so more people can see this video and understand the concept and the power of house hacking. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you guys next time.